God sent Mike here tonight to speak to us. And if you caught anything from what he said, it's prophetic, it's from the Lord, it's precious, it's a big deal. As I was sitting there, you know, just marveling in the, Charlene and the, the grace of God, the mercy of God, and the healing power of God in Mike's life, and that he's here tonight, speaking in my meeting. Is to be respected and honored. You know, there's something in the body of Christ that do not respect and honor. And it's so needed. And if you are sitting there, and this isn't a chastisement, but if you're sitting there like, you know, well, you know, is he going to give me a word? Am I going to get a personal word? That is the word. It's important. And Mike, you know the thing I caught that just went into my spirit and just went crazy in me? Besides the evangelism and souls that as you finish the word, was that uh, don't dig any graves and don't bury any bodies. And I was so excited about that word because this is what I saw. Don't dig your own grave. Don't think you're done. Don't think that you're finished. Don't dig any grave with any part of your body, any need that you have. Like, well, honey, don't, don't think that you're going to stay with your feet hurting you the rest of your life. Don't accept it. Don't, don't dig a grave and bury <clears throat> your body. I just saw a huge prophetic word there. Don't dig a grave for your dreams. Don't bury your dreams. Don't dig a grave and then let your dreams go down in the grave and then cover it up with dirt and say it's over and it's finished. The Lord says, do not. It's a special word. Don't dig a grave and don't throw bodies. Don't put bodies in graves. Don't put your dreams, your vision, your destiny, your giftings. There's resurrection life here tonight. Sometimes God will speak corporate words for the evening. I have a hard time dealing with that because people pull on you for personal prophetic words. Sometimes God will speak. He spoke through my brother. He spoke through my to Dina. He spoke uh, to Liz prophetically. He spoke through me, through Mike Bolin, through different ones of us giving word after word and, and words and songs and he's saying something. And it's important. It's important. He's telling me right now he's igniting a light, a fire underneath us. Not only that we would burn with the fire of Pentecost, but we would be beacon lights of his glory. Now I'm giving another part of this word that you gave, Mike. Go dig up what you buried and call it forth. Lazarus, come forth. Dreams come forth. Visions come forth. Destinies come forth. Call those things that you think are dead and dormant, or dormant, either one, and call them back to life. The Lord has given us a directive tonight through Mike Bowen. Mike Bowen, to me, is a 